Just got this in. So this is the Menace RC Pico Patch Antenna. I have been running the very old Video Aerial Systems 10 DBIC Crosshair Antenna. And this has served me well over the years. I've had pretty much no problems with it except for the fact that, well, it's it's big. This is a big honking antenna and it never has fit in the fat chart case. I always have to take it off. So things have advanced since then and now we've got these smaller pico patch antennas and this is some of the newest technology here from menace rc i mean look at that look at how small that is it's really pretty light i want to just break down this chart real quick for a minute here so this is the infographic that menace rc provides for all their antennas as you can see that is the beam or rather that is the um, expected range and width that you're going to be able to get a signal from this pico patch antenna and as you can see it extends up to 900 meters within that defined path and that's what you can expect on 25 milliwatts is what they've provided and they've also provided some data for 100 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts which is really pretty cool this this gives you just a general idea of what kind of performance you're going to expect without having to do a whole bunch of you know crazy math or anything like that so i thought that was pretty neat and after i see after seeing that um i'm thinking that the 900 meters that this is rated for with nothing in front of you and you know perfect environment we should be looking at some pretty decent performance around obstacles close by in like a nearby park or something like that so i can't wait to take this for a test and uh yeah so come along with me and we're gonna go to the park and give this a test on 25 milliwatts got the tiny hawk freestyle we're gonna give it a flight with the menace patch and then i'm gonna put on my old patch again this one is 9.5 db and this one is 10 so we're gonna roll that menace patch flight first and then that one and then i'll give you my thoughts and feelings and you can decide as well based on the footage that you see this is a 25 milliwatt unit and i think that that is a good video transmitter to test because the one on the tiny hawk freestyle is not the best but not necessarily the worst either so i think this is a good way to see how this thing is performing <laughs>
All right, so I'm all finished with my flights, and I think that the Menace Antenna is at least no worse than my old Crosshair Antenna. Um, you know, the old Crosshair Antenna is, again, it's rated for 10 dB, and this is 9.5, but there's a lot more than dB that goes into an antenna. So if you're like me and you purchased one of these a long time ago, I, I would have to say go ahead and get a patch. That way you can pack your goggles in your bag. Uh, you don't have to worry about taking this thing on and off. I did not notice any worse flight performance on the uh, fairly low performing video transmitter on the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. So I thought it was a really good test. I gotta say a big thank you to Drone Pool for sending this patch out to me. That was really, really cool of him. Please go and check out Drone Pool's channel when you have a time. He's a pretty nice guy. And uh, with that being said, I've got more stuff to do. I've got a full bag here. So I hope you enjoyed the quick review of the Menace patch. It's it's a good little upgrade if you're looking for something for your fire trucks. All right, that's it, guys. Take care.